Hey there, welcome back to Hackcode. In this video, we dive into the classic problem of bad anagram. This problem tests your ability to understand and memorize strings and hash maps. We'll explore two different approaches to solve this problem. One is using sorting, and another one is using hash map. So both these methods offer unique insights into handling string comparisons efficiently. Let's dive in. Here, given two strings S and T, written true if T is an anagram of S and false otherwise. So what's an anagram? An anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase, typically using all original letters exactly once. So the given example, let's go with the example two, this is simple here. So we have S is equal to R A T and T is equal to C A R. So here we can see that uh, we have R in both strings and A in both strings, but T is not there in both strings. So this is false. And with example one, we have A, three, A is repeated three times here and A is repeated three times here as well and n is repeated one time and n is repeated here also one time. So g one time here, g one time and r one time, r one time. So m one time, m one time. So this is a valid anagram. So we should return two. So here the constraints over both strings length lies between the inclusive range of 1 to 510 power 4. And s and t consists of a lowercase English letters. This is the key here for solving this problem. So let's look into the solutions. So first approach is using sorting. This is very straightforward. We convert both input strings into lists and sort them and then we check if they are equal. So if both sorted lists match, it means that S and T contains same characters in same quantity. Thus, they are called anagrams. So here we equal it uh, for the same. We just converted uh, S to list and T to list and we're sorting S and T here and then we just checking for the equality. Uh, so here the time complexity it's O of n log n due to the sorting step here because we sort and the sort step includes O of n log n so entire time complexity is, uh, boils down to n log n here so the space complexity is O of n due, due to the sorted list here which uh, we do store two sorted lists here right so that's O of n so for the approach one let's look into the examples so for example one we have s is equals to anagram and t is equal to anagram as we've seen and then we form a list out of these two and then we sort it. So after sorting it, we get like this. So here, uh, while comparing, we can see that both of them are equal, so it's an anagram. So here, for example, two, uh, we did the same process and we got this two lists here, which is definitely not equal, so they're not anagrams. So approach two, it's using a hash map. This method involves using a hash map to count the occurrences of each character in both strings. So first we ensure both strings are of equal length. Then we iterate through the uh, string S, counting each character's occurrences. Next we iterate to the second string T, decrementing the count for each character. So in the end, if all the count are zero, then the strings are anagrams. If not, definitely not the anagram. So here we coding for the same, this is a base case, right? If both are not of equal length, then definitely it's not anagram. So we write written a false straight away. So here we're just forming a, a default dict, which is just like a wrapper or a di dictionary. It basically for, gives a default value for each key uh, instead of giving a key error. So here we're just iterating the string and uh, for in, like keep keeping the count is equal to one. And uh, if it is a first time encoder, if it's a second time encoder, it will increment the count. And then here we doing for iterating over the T and then we just subtract in the count. Uh, so at the end we do comparison like ideally if this anagram now the values would be zero if we like they have the same uh, characters repeat the same times so we just checking if uh, over the dictionary if this characters uh, is not equals to like the count is not equal to zero then it's definitely not an anagram we return false here so in other case we return true so the time complexity here is o of n because uh, we have iterated over the length of the string twice here so that's uh, o of n here uh, and then here the space complex is o of 1 as at max we have 26 alphabet keys and they clearly said that we uh, the input is going to be only the uh, in alphabet characters in lower case so it's definitely 26 keys and always it's a constant 26 keys we store it's not varying on the input uh, basically uh, it means that it's always a constant space so it's O of 1. So here just to explain the approach, uh, firstly we are iterating over S and forming an hash map so that it uh, accounts to this one and then while subtract uh, in the next step we do subtracting right for each character then we get the hash map like this. 
so here we can see each character's count is zero so it's definitely a anagram so for the example two we have this first iteration and then we get like all the uh, letters count and then after subtracting we get uh, or zero and we clearly see that c is minus one and t is one this means that there is mismatch so it's definitely a, not an anagram so we return false so next is demo and conclusion so I got the code ready here. So I wrote the two methods for two different approaches. Let's try submitting each of them. So here, yeah, this accepted solution, and then I'm submitting next approach here, which is in hash map. So here, this also accepted solution. We can see that this is a uh, efficient than before. So both approaches provide a solution to the wired anagram problem, while the sorting method being the most straightforward, but potentially it's less efficient for the longer strings due to the sorting and log in complexity. In contrast, the hash map approach offers O of n time complexity, making it more efficient for the logic datasets. Choosing the right approach depends on the specific requirements of your application and the size of the input strings. So thank you for tuning into this episode of Hack Code. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more coding tutorials and problem solving tips. If you have any questions or solutions for future topics, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Until next time, happy coding.